So this is going to be our valve system and it's going to be homemade valves. We'll need one valve that will open this way so water can shoot out and one valve that will open this way to suck water up from uh, the pail or the pond or whatever. So for the bottom valve, I've got a, this is a one inch T and I've got a one inch to three quarter inch bushing. And that's going to fit in here and on top of this will sit a valve. I've sanded this down to roughen it up and here's our valve. I just cut it out of inner tube rubber and we are going to glue this onto here. Just half of this, half of the rim and then it will open up from the bottom like yay. Okay. The side valve I made out of a washer, one inch washer with a quarter inch hole and then I just glued again a flap of inner tube rubber onto that. It will open up outwards like this and then close. Okay, I've just put epoxy on the top part of this homemade valve gluing it onto the bushing. Just going to let that dry. I'm just going to put with a plastic knife some of this epoxy right on the inside down here of this T. And then just going to fit, squeeze that little washer right into there, let it sit and dry. In fact, I might fit it into, nope. No gaps on the back side here. That dries. All right, everything is glued in place. I've got the outgoing uh, valve, which opens like yay. See there? A little hole there. And the inflow moves like that. And we're going to fit that in the bottom part of the valve system. Okay, to test it out I'm not going to glue it. Now I've screwed in a half inch barb, nylon barb, into this reducer. Like so. 